Upgrade complete. Okay, guys, so, um, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. It's my channel, so. We kind of have to accept the fact that I'm excited to school doing all this, so it's kind of hard to, uh, make videos and stuff. But I'm getting back on track. But anyways now, uh, this is a new series that I am starting, it is for Transformers, uh, Earth Wars, I think? Yeah, not I think, but you get what I mean. Anyways, in this game, you can play as either side, Autobot or Decepticon, you choose whichever the one you want, you can build alliances, do team battles, whatever the hell you want. I'll even show you the Decepticons that I have. Keep in mind, my crappy team is horrible. If you see come if you see the power level at the top where the number say 1123 that is combined power not total team power in each team you think you can have four robots and Megatron Nightbird blast off and breakdown are my only good ones let's take a look at them why won't we all right this is Megatron I like the fact that his cannon, his cannon, his cannon is not even used at, at all. Like, he just grabs out a mace and there we go. He just starts fighting. It'd be more practical if he used it, but he doesn't care. Ooh, crap. Did not mean to click that. Hold on, let me move this little icon up here. So this is Cyclonus. He is an air type po- not Pokemon, fuck, why did I say that? Ah, uh, you'll get what I mean. He's an air type, um, of Transformer, let's see him transform. Sadly, I don't know what this kind of plane is. Oh, I know who this is, this is Thundercracker, he looked so different from like the uh from the games on xbox where they were on um war for cybertron because <laughs> he looks a lot more like starscream and right, next one is tantrum he turns into a bull i don't get why he chose that he chose to become a bull that's all i know he became but whatever oh and this is bone crusher i think he's one of the I'm pretty sure in the at some point he was a Combaticon or something. But who knows? Oh, he's a Constructicon, never mind. He fights, but he does construction. I think he does this alongside Hook. Oh yeah, this is Swindle. I think in the TV series, for the anime series, he was a uh, arms dealer. Yeah, he was. And that, on his chest right there where he has his insignia for the Decepticons, carries a pocket dimension where he has all his valuable items. Oh, this is Viper. I don't think anybody's heard of him. If you have, please leave me some information. So, yeah, that's Viper. He turns into an A-10. Next up is Slipstream. So, uh, not much to say about Slipstream. I was talking to my sister there, so that's why you, you didn't hear me for a minute. So, basically, Slipstream is another... F is one of the other flying Decepticons. She turns into, I think, a, she either chose an F-16 or an F-18. I am not sure. Uh, this is an F-18, I'm pretty sure about that. Bold, bold dead, bold Jion or something, I can't pronounce his name, I never could. He turns into a tank, and I think he turns into a drift or something. Because this is, because, if you all don't know, there's another, there's an Autobot that looks like him. And I think he might be the same person. Oh god, now we're at the cunt of the group. Welcome Starscream. I know I might have angered a lot of people by calling him a cunt, but I really get annoyed by Starscream. <laughs> so he turns into an F-16. No doubt about that. Oh, this is Hook. He's a healer, but 
dear god, his damage rate is not too good. He does turn... You'll see why he's called Hook. Get it? That's why he's called Hook. Look at the front part of his fucking thing. But anyways, I'm sorry if I have to make cut this short. I think I can only make up to five or six minute long videos. So yeah, I'm gonna have to keep going from on another video. But I'll see you guys in the next one.